It's the moment that we have been waiting for. We are <laughs> cordially invited to witness the wedding of Wolfgang West and mm -hmm. Cheryl Miller in tonight's grand final of the latest season of Westside. Mother of the bride, Trish, is less than happy <laughs> about the occasion and um, we're uh, picking things aren't going to go too smoothly. Actor Jodie Dorday joins us now to give us a bit of a sneak peek. It is great to have you yeah, back nice on the show. Yeah, nice to be show. back. Thank you. Really nice. I've been watching you on screen in your 80s garb and just thinking you just <laughs> look like you fit right in there. She's a bit special, isn't she? How much have you enjoyed filming the season of Westside? Oh, Side? look, it's always a pleasure to be on the West Side set because they're just a great bunch, the crew and cast. And everyone knows that they're onto a good script and everyone has a lot of fun. So it is, and it's, uh, yeah, the wardrobe department's, you yeah, know, really, really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good fun. Yeah, there oh. they are, they're right there. Oh, oh look look beauty. You. Look at you. I love that. Have I got my legs close? Yes, I have. Thank yeah, you. Have. <laughs> that hair is yeah, just the something hair. else. <laughs> the hair is quite famous, isn't it? How much can you give away about tonight without obviously giving too much away? But what can you tell us? Well, yeah, a lot. There's, well, you know, one of Rita's parties, there's always a lot of um, alcohol involved. And, uh, and it gets messy. It gets really messy, but it's so much fun. Uh, we so had a lot of fun filming it. I yeah. bet you did. Oh, we did. I guess it's pretty safe <laughs> to say that uh, your character, um, who is obviously Cheryl's mum, Yes. Trish and Rita don't get on and particularly want the wedding, so I think no, we, should, we should yeah. take a little look at this clip. Oh, great, you've got right, okay. <laughs> Fine. It was about this time when I married your father that I freaked out. I just felt so overwhelmed by everything. Yeah? So? I'm sorry as it turned out, I wish I'd followed my instincts that... Are you trying to talk me out of it? No! You are. I'm just about to get into my wedding dress and you're still trying to talk me out of marrying Wolf. Oh, I love that. It's trying to persuade her not to get We didn't just get one. some bad footage, did we? Like the whole episode is shot like a, yeah, an 80s it. handicap. Very much, yeah. Is the, the, I mean, West Side itself, there's that sort of attention to detail, isn't there? The fashion, the, you know, the sets, all of that. It's, it's really, it must have been like stepping back yeah, in time. Yeah, it really was. So um, Trisha's dairy, for example. Yes. Um, that, mm. Every time you pick up a, a lolly or, you know, a, a wrapping or a magazine cover, it's all from the 80s. So the graphic design department you know go to huge lengths mm. to make sure everything's and it's just a treat to be in there it's quite yeah. phenomenal isn't it there was it one is. scene where they had big um there was bluebird chip packets yeah. Yeah, and they were yeah. the 80s bluebird chip packets yeah they just do an extraordinary i mean i think they spend hours and hours setting setting that so it, it is they need to they need a mention look at the, <laughs> the dairy there and yeah yeah it's just so much an image of childhood, walking in, and you know the ladies there, and, and the lollies in the front. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, yeah. Like Ten cents worth of those, and you got like a huge. Oh, big no, bag. yes. How times have changed. Now the wedding takes place at the famous West House, of it course, does. doesn't it? Yes, it does. And doesn't go according to plan. No, no, not at all. Um, yeah, there's a there's a wonderful um, kind of uh, fisty fight with an, an, another woman at the wedding. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's. I won't say too much other than you must tune in because it, it it's epic. It's it's iconic. <laughs> and epic and, it, and it, you can't miss it. <laughs> what do you think's kept us so hooked on the Wests after all these years? Yeah, it's interesting. I think it's good story writing and I think it's good production and you've got a fabulous cast and crew. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to work on it. Um, I think it boils down to the writing. Yeah, and great characters oh, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what's great if you've been with the West the whole time, well, Outrageous Fortune was, mm. what, 13 years ago oh, that started? Incredible. And I now know. you're looking back at the characters when they were young and yeah. you're sort of seeing the crossover of the storylines. It's fun for it people. Is, like, geeks who like to get into it. Yeah, they? it's a bit like a crossword puzzle. Sometimes it gets a bit kind of, <laughs> whoa, where are we? But um, it is. It's a it's a great story. And um, and I don't, I don't think we get to see... Um, those kind of characters on TV and those too often. And those historical moments, we all knew something yes. like that, of that you remember and you're seeing That's them right. on screen, which you don't yeah. really get a chance it's to really see. It's really clever, yeah. Mm. It's, it's brilliant. But you're incredibly busy, obviously, outside of West Side too. Yeah. Tell us about what else you've got going on. Yeah, so I was here last time with the delightful Roger Hall and I was talking about doing a one-woman play and been quite terrified about doing it, which was, you know, uh, rightly so. <laughs> I should have been terrified because it opened uh, and it was, you know, an hour and a half on your own solo show. The book club. The book club, mm -hmm. yeah. But I learned really um, quickly to, I mean, that, you know, it's live theatre and things go wrong. Um, and so you're better off sharing that with the audience. So, for example, one day I smashed my knee against the couch and kind of, if you're in a show with other people, you just have to smile and keep going. But mm. this one, oh, God, I've 
smash my bed at? And the audience loved it. You know, they love being on your side. So once you get over the fear of you know, doing 45 pages of script, mm. um, it was so much fun and I just decided to produce it myself and take it on the road. So I'm doing O'Reever and Tauranga shortly. Wow. It's yeah. What does producing it involve for you? Producing it means funding it. <laughs> um, and producing it means that you put, you know, a lot of you invest in yourself. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and it's only you there. But so you know it's, it's already been successful. So at least well, that's that right. And it's a Roger Hall. So, you know, you take it to um, areas, you know, smaller community theatres that are going to enjoy a Roger Hall and, and perhaps some, you know, seniors that don't, wouldn't normally come into the city. Mm. So I do like taking things like that out yeah. onto the road and making people laugh, basically. What about filthy business? Yes, I've just finished it. That was a that was a little gem. So I played a, I played a, the role of Carol. Um, Jenny Ludlam was the lead in that, and I just played this little cameo role, but complete humour, complete comedy. So I kind of flitted on in the first half, flitted off, and that was it. And made cups of tea and you know, helped people get changed backstage afterwards. So it was a real dream little role because you know, again, you're making people laugh. Exciting! You got some cool things. I know oh, it's good. Well, isn't we're it? looking forward to I have to come along and see you in the book oh, club. Dude, actually, you like yeah, it. if you're to produce it, we better we better help come fund on. it. <laughs> Thank you so much, and really looking forward to the final of West Side tonight. Yes. It is on at 8.30 on 3, and you can catch up on any episodes that, that you might have missed on 3 now.